Hello everyone, today I have a very interesting tool to show you. This is uh, very useful if you are into electronics or uh, different types of do-it-yourself related to electrics. This is not only a multimeter or a voltage tester, this is actually a 2-in-1 device and this is an oscilloscope in a very small format and it's very smart. This is also very very cheap and I'm going to add a link for it in the video description. You can uh, buy it from there and you can also check the full specifications and voltage range, resistance range and so on. So right, if you want to pause this video you can see some specifications here on the box and I'm going to take it out of the box and I'm going to show you what's inside. So you are going to get a manual for it and it's rather well explained. It shows you a lot of stuff, how to use it, how to set it up and this thing is really smart because it's um, not full range but it has an automatic range so it makes easy to be used. It makes things a lot more easier than uh, regular devices because you don't have to set a range for the measurement it's out of range so you just select what you want to measure such as volts on DC current or AC current and that's it and that is not like on this older model for instance here you have select to select the range for the resistance from 200 ohms to up to 200 uh, mega ohms so you need to have proper range to get a reading, a correct reading. Well, this thing only selects the measurement that you want to take, such as resistance, and it will scan and measure the exact resistance and it will display it on the screen. Very easy to use and actually this is easier to use for beginners, but some advanced users prefer this old type. I like both of them. This makes it easier for me to work. So let's get further with this. It comes with two probes, of course not only probes but test leads because they are called probes for oscilloscopes and they are leads for regular measurement tools. So they come with some protectors which I'm going to remove. This thing comes without batteries and it uses uh, three AA batteries which you need to provide uh, they are placed here in this slot and this is a very nice support so you can put it on the table like that so I'm going to install batteries now and now I can power this on so uh, you power it on just by twisting the selector here it has an off here and an off here and now it's working it has a nice large backlit monitor screen and I'm going to select voltage voltage for DC and I'm going to install my probes or test leads and I'm going to use a small battery like this one rechargeable battery just for a test so you are going to see its voltage there all right so it won't shine in the camera lens and there you go it has 1.378 volts this is a rechargeable battery so it's in the normal range right so now I'm going to switch it to AC voltage and I'm going to plug this in just like that it takes a bit it warns me that it's high voltage and that's the main voltage right now 227 volts right so you get the idea it's a normal voltage meter tester multimeter but I want to make this an oscilloscope and go into graphics mode so you keep this auto button pressed for two seconds and now I'm in oscilloscope mode and this is again full range all range automatic range so uh, it will automatically detect voltage and frequency and it will adjust the graphic 
automatically. So let's see how this thing goes. So I'm going to plug this again into the mains. And there you go. It shows volt, uh, frequency 49 Hz and voltage 227. And with these two buttons, I can adjust the scale if I want to. And there you go. And also you have this hold function which will hold the graphic and it says it into a memory slot. It has uh, something like 20 memories or something like that and you can delete them, you can uh, create a new one. So very very smart and actually very cheap for having an oscilloscope in your toolbox. I find this priceless. So until my next video, see you and bye bye.